do not team foul nila. So, Ice screens so, penetrate on your own on a one-on-one. -on -one. Short stab. You cannot stop a shooter like that, a guy who can score that way. Speed. Yapen Miller getting reacquainted. No, what a move! Uh, he left him eating dust in that play. And the MVP of this conference going to work here. In games that have been decided by only one man there on the part of Ryan. He goes in, Hukunata is clearly out of that circle. That circle is there. This, the, the thing has been established. It's a good call. Lead pass he is gone! Again, Devan scoring on a one-on-one. -on -one. So see, that's what's needed. Yeah? Uh, look at this KFC as his delivery of the quarter. This has been the motif of this game, the Yap uh, combine. Roger Yap to James. Fingers. James. Shot clock at six. James from long distance. Yes! Oh, what a shot. Looked like a shot blocker, but when he was in the amateurs, he yes. was a big time shot blocker. The offense dying for Pure Foods here. They're down to three seconds. Boy, they just have to thank their lucky stars they have this guy. We're shrieking, we're screaming, we're shouting, we're scoring. Not one, but two fakes there by James. You have to get that layup. Runner. Oh! That's beginning to be a favorite shot. He has 17 as well. That's our Tokyo Tokyo 4 Tonkatsu play of the game. Oh, Baguneto. Ah, Kelampa. Describe the play. Oh, Magandano. Cuts. Oh, good. Okay. Gary sidestepping motion with now James Yap reacting. He slapped the ball, ended up with a foul. Well, if you slap down at the basketball and you don't get it cleanly, you're definitely going to get a foul. It's going to send Gary. Burger King at the top of this game. First half, they were in step, but the third quarter proved to be the. Romel hit a shot from outside somewhere there earlier. This is on its way. Yes. It's always a good idea to get the ball to James Yap in the half court. You he put up points quickly in, in succession in the meantime that is oh ringless beauty by james yeah. and for anybody else that would be a bad shot a fade away from three points or uh, athletic four feet people <laughs> at least six five in height oh james and that's 10 for him and that's another fade away so wild card round samantalang si james carlos yep and the rest of the bmx derby is llamados still up. here comes james yep James, yep, cross over all the way for two. And see the adjustment in James Yap's offense. Had a difficult time getting off that outside shot. And decided to put the ball on the floor and moving away from his defender and passing through two defenders. And here's Artadi, Artadi. Steps on the brakes. James Yap wants the ball. He has it. He goes right. He fires. He scores. You know, he's going to be feeling more comfortable going up against Mark Aguiwa's defense than Ronald Tubit. And you saw it. For the Lemados, here's Roger Yap. Hand off James Yap. He fakes. He fires. Yes, sir. That's a three. On the floor, you see a snapshot here coming from James Yap. Nine points in the opening quarter to the former PBA or Coca-Cola might equal that record. And once that happens, let's take a look at this move by James Yap. Several shots coming from Yap, from Yap putting the ball on the floor, then the assist. And he's doing it all right now. He's the man with the million moves. He can pass, he can shoot. And Willie Miller losing it to Cliff Brown. Here's Pimeg on the other half. Oh, yes. You go to your best finisher and you go to James Yap. James on the move, on the run, and they're on top. We'll be back after this timeout. See, he had already released the ball. JJ Helderbrand, obviously, not in the position. 
Uh, yun talaga yung first option namin, yung defense talaga. Kailangan namin i- ay, kailangan i-deny talaga lahat ng mga star player nila, no? So, yung ikot ng bola, kailangan talaga makahawak lahat ng teammates ko para ma-feel, man, ma-feel nila and may, magkaroon sila ng confidence sa, ano, sa tira nila. Papunta naman tayo sa personal game mo. Alam natin, this conference, medyo nagsastruggle ka sa free throw. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> ganun pa rin. <laughs> Basta... James Yap. Yes, sir. That's a three. James Yap blocked by Brown. But and uh, he'll go to the line. Yep, there's a foul according to referee Peter Balao. And that partnership has worked beautifully in the different teams that they've played together. Artadi and James Yap. Well, for a while, nakahiwalay sila ng landas, though, when Artadi went to Hinebra, but I suppose, uh, you know, it's so instinctive for Artadi to look for James Yap on the break. They've been doing it for so long, as you mentioned. And this, you know, even if they... So there's Lakers. Power move highlights brought to you by Derby Ace Premium Formula. Dito ka na sa Yamato. Sometimes I'm amazed that we have something in common. I also like Jamal Will. 72, he led the set result to the NCAA Seniors Championship. At the age of 24, the peak of his career, he uh, underwent a brain surgery. You read all about him. 35 years he's been paralyzed. That story will be the Philippine star tomorrow. Meantime, James Yap yeah, hits a three. Mark Kagiwa, who's probably more, not probably, but is more familiar with the Never system. Choke up another three-point basket by Parangay, by Pinek. Here, talking text, uh, one over the Barako Energy Coffee Masters. Uh, the final score there was 112-101, and moments ago, the Meg Derby Ace winning over Hinebra, 101-83. For Dominic Oy, my partner, El Decano, Senor Kenito Hanson, I'm Miko Alili, saying goodnight. From the Big Dome, well out of Filipinas, this is the PBA on Solar TV. Hopper for his third rebound. Here's Arpadia Gastrea, sidestep, pass to James Yap, and King James is on the board. And you know, James Yap, he knows that if he runs alongside Paul Artadi or he trails, the thing is that you know, is just playing with a lot of intensity in this game. And that's a familiar phrase and familiar sight. Artadi to Yap for our KFC assist delivery of the quarter. Enjoy watching the PBA with finger licking food. Dial 887 8888 now. Mula College up to their early years in the PBA and then now a, a sort of a reunion here at Pierpoint. Roger out to the left side. James puts it on the floor. Trying to stretch for that layup. Will it count? Pero tanong ko, di ba yung three-point lang lang mga inatras? Yung free throw line, 15 feet pa rin. Good pa rin. Hindi naman inusog eh. Oh, basket counts here. Joseph Fio all arms up about it is whistled for the foul James Yap check this out one-handed shot for James gets the lucky bounce and uh, bad news for Santa Lucia fans this might just get King James going the crowd sees Pagana Artadi seems to have confidence in that position because both guys came from uh, Barangay Hinebra last year and uh, remember, it was uh, Paul Artani that had more minutes compared to Chris Patana. As Pure Foods for the third time in this game as a step point. James Yup gets it right back on the other end and this crowd is starting to wake up. Of course, safe here. That put us in time to check our Toki Toko Beef Bowl play of the game. And uh, of course, big beefy goodness in three exciting flavors is Toki Toko's Beef Bowls. The Yamados threatening to open up the first double-digit lead of the ball game, and there he does it. James Yap finishing down low. There's another look at Paul Artadi making the play possible for James Yap, and on the other end, Paul Artadi took the hit, and uh, that's going to be a turnover against Santa Lucia. Anthony Johnson called with the offensive foul. Right. With, uh, with a hand. James Yap. And James Yap, that's five points for him. Cliff Brown with a rebound. James Yap looking for back-to-back baskets. 
you know, he's so confident in taking that outside shot, knowing that Rico Meyerhoff or Cliff Brown. Uh, and it looks like James Yap is going to be uh, called for the foul. Oh, it's hard. So, we need to get it. Because our goal is to get out of the 3, 4, 5 na spot. So, we need to get it each every game. We need to get it. We expect that Santa Lucia will return to the second half. Do you want to get it more? And do you want to get it more? Do you want to get it more? If we can see it in the first half, we need to maintain our defense. Because they don't have a lot of form in the execution. So, that's what we need to continue in the second half. Alright, see you then. Unnecessary risks, and that's great. Then you take a look at the turnover points. 20 to 6, the big difference right there. And they have been challenging the interior, and they're getting away with a lot of inside points, Vito. So I expect to see a couple of X's on the other side of Dwight Fernandez as he plays Omolon now at the two guard position. Something that I think he's capable of doing. Yep, scoring at will now. He's got 15 points in the game. And lob pass. Defense was asleep while James Yap was scheming to score. And that's what's so good about James Yap. Moving without the ball, looking at the angles, looking to get himself open. And you watch the communication here between, as you said, the two UE teammates, Paul Artadi to James Yap. Yeah, that psychic connection goes way back. Yeah. I remember in 1999, they... They cleared away for James Yap. Yap covered by Ross. James Yap, the three, yes! He just pulls that out of his pocket and makes it. That's his 20th point of the ball game. And once again, the Santa Lucia Realtors. You see the teamwork here of uh, Pinek, not just in defense, but in offense. A beautiful shield set up there by Mark Pringles for James Yap to get himself open for the shot. More action still to come after this. It's either at the venues or right here on Solar TV, but that's going to wrap it up for this PBA Wednesday. For Patricia Heason and Kenito Henson, this is Vito Lezzatine reminding you to be good to yourselves and to each other, and we'll see you again next time here on...